Hello YouTube! This is the Mystery Mango signing on. Now guys, today I will be doing a review on the L85 Assault Rifle. Now guys, first of all, before anything, I want to get in a little bit into the history of the L85A2. Now guys, of course, this is a British assault rifle, and the place of origin was actually right in the United Kingdom. Now, this gun was in service from 1985 to the current present, and it is actually said to remain in service until 2025, which is quite good. Now, this gun's been in several wars, and it was designed from the 1970s to the 1980s. Now, the manufacturers is BAE Systems and Heckler and & Koch, and it was produced in 1985 to 1994. And they built approximately 350,000 L85A2 assault rifles. Now guys, let's get in what you guys actually need to do to get the L85A2 in game. You guys need to complete the assignment known as Open Fire. And to complete the Open Fire assignment, you need to, number one, reach rank 10. Number two, own China Rising and complete the reward requirements. Now the reward requirements are actually not that hard and are quite, quite, quite simple. So all you guys gotta do is number one, get three assault rifle ribbons, which do not need to be into in the same round. And they can actually be scattered through multiple rounds. Honestly, it's all depending on how good of a player you are with assault rifles and generally if you die a lot or not. But personally for me, it took me one round to get this. So that aside is the most easiest part of the assignment. Now, the harder part for the assignment, which is hard for most people, honestly, I did this once again in one round. You need to, number one, get a kill with any pistol. Except, guys, do not use the Shorty 12G. That is considered a shotgun and not a pistol. I don't know why some of you try using it, but it will not count as a pistol kill. But anything for the sidearms but the Shorty 12G will work. Now, you also have to get a kill with a 40mm grenade. I personally think that the... M320 HE is generally the easiest to work with, you know, you generally one shot somebody and boom, they're dead. Not so hard to do, is it now? I don't think so. <clears throat> and the last thing that people generally have problems with is you also have to get a kill with a defibrillator. Now the one tricky part to this assignment is you gotta get the kill with the pistol with the 40mm grenade and the defibrillator all in one round. Which makes people go ballistic. They're just like, what? Okay, pistol manageable, 40mm grenade manageable, but a defibrillator? No goddamn way. It is impossible. Trust me, guys, it is not impossible. I did this. And all you really gotta do is, number one, if you really want to, you can really be a little bit of a risk taker and just try to defibrillate somebody running at you going for a knife. Or somebody who currently does not notice you and you manage to flank behind them. Or a prone sniper or a prone mortar. Mortar. Mm, that's a nice word right there. Mortar. Anyways, guys, so yes, generally it is quite easy to get. And trust me, this is a pretty easy assignment to get. And even if you do have troubles with it, I would definitely recommend keep on trying because this assault rifle is amazing. Anyways, guys, let's go into the weapon stats a bit. Now, the L85A2. Assault Rifle has a rounds per minute of 750, which is not too low, but also not too high, giving it that very good mixture in the middle for a perfect rate of fire. And now, this gun's bullet muzzle velocity is 640 meters per second, which is really good. Good job, L85A2. You're good. And this gun is also quite good with aiming, so... Generally, you can pretty much snipe long-range targets with this thing, but I would definitely not recommend anything over 100 meters because that would generally just, you know, your balls start spraying off and you'll generally waste your whole magazine just trying to kill out one person. It's just so frustrating. So don't try to shoot anybody over 100 meters. Now, of course, guys, the damage drop-off is pretty similar to, well, most of the assault rifles. And when, number one, it has a max damage of 25 and it drops off starting at 8 meters, 
and the minimum damage this gun can do is 18 and it starts going from 55 meters. So now this gun's reload time, if you do have a bullet still left in the mag, is 2.75 seconds which is a little bit on the slow side. But the one thing with this gun which you really want to watch out for is the long reload time of 3.75 seconds. So generally guys, if you are going to reload, make sure you still at least have a bullet in the magazine because trust me guys, okay, a second in Battlefield could mean life or death. And if you are away for almost 3 seconds or almost 4 seconds, you are very likely to die if you're not in a good, you know, camping area. <laughs> okay guys, now the recoil of the L85A2 is pretty similar, honestly, to a lot of other weapons out there. It has a left to right recoil of 0 0.25, which isn't so bad. I mean, it could be better, but it's generally pretty good. But it has a vertical recoil of 0 0.43. Now, the vertical rec recoil, sorry, is a little bit interesting, but personally, what I like to do to just pretty much compensate for that is actually stick on a muzzle brake and a nice ergo grip and maybe stick on a nice Cobra or Coyote sight or whatever sight you prefer. I would definitely not recommend any 4 times sights though. Stick with 1 times sights guys please. So a Cobra or Coyote would do really good. And if you don't have those, try to maybe use a Hollow or something along that range which you are comfortable with. But generally those are the most popular sights that everybody else is comfortable with. So yeah guys, pretty much just sticking on a nice muzzle brake and a ergo grip and pretty much whatever else you want really does make this weapon very good. Now, this gun has 30 bullets in the magazine plus one in the chamber which is pretty standard. And it has a first shot recoil of 1.5. Very interesting. Not that bad honestly, it's kind of better than most of the assault rifles really. I mean, I think it has one of the lowest first shot multipliers there. You know, honestly, I don't think any other assault rifle actually beats it. I think the Scar H may be close. Uh, I think the Scar H has a 1.6, I believe, and so does the AR-160, but I'm pretty sure the L85A2 has the lowest first shot recoil in all of the assault rifles right now, which I personally think is amazing. Now, the gun itself is generally very versatile. You can run around with it and everything, and it will still make a great weapon. You know, it is just incredibly versatile. It is like the Ace-23. You know, it is just so versatile. You can use it in almost any scenario, almost anywhere, and it will do you good. I have never played with this gun where I found it to be completely useless. But anyways, guys, for the L85A2 Assault Rifle... I would give this gun a 9 out of 10, you know, honestly, I would give it a 10 out of 10 if maybe it had a little more uh, rounds per minute in it, you know, but that's pretty much it, you know, if it had at least 800, that would be great, but honestly, a 9 out of 10 for this thing for sure, it is just a beastly, 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 beastly assault rifle, and I would definitely recommend all of you to use it, so please guys, go ahead and give this assault rifle a try. Please, guys, you will not regret your decision. Anyways, guys, this is Mystery Mango, signing off.